Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, that was a big one. I love this stuff. Oh, I'm floating out. How fun is popping candy? The sweet with sound effects. It's like number one on my list of most entertaining treats. But what makes popping candy pop? Regular candy is made by dissolving sugar in boiling water to create a thick syrup. As it cools, the mixture can be molded to make lollipops and other hard sweets. But in 1961, chemist William Mitchell discovered that by adding a special ingredient to a standard candy mixture, you can load it with popping potential. All you need as a little carbon dioxide. Before the sugary syrup cools, it's combined with good old CO2. But this CO2 is a bit different to the stuff in your breath when you exhale. It's been highly pressurized to around 600 pounds per square inch. That's around three times greater than the pressure inside a fire extinguisher or 20 times more pressure than the air in our car tires. And it's enough to turn the gaseous CO2 into a transparent liquid. Once the pressurized carbon dioxide is fully mixed into the syrup, the candy is cooled very rapidly and solidifies the syrup mixture with that carbon dioxide inside. And although the candy has hardened, it is very, very brittle. And that means it can be really easily shattered into those familiar nuggets of popping candy that I just scoffed. But how come the candy only crackles when I put it in my mouth? Well, all those individual nuggets still contain tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide. We could say they're carbonated. And just as carbonation turns flavoured water into fizzy drinks, it's what makes our candy pop when we pour it onto our tongues. It's the moisture and temperature in our mouths that quickly dissolve the sugary candy barriers that contain the CO2, allowing the pressurised gas to burst out of its protective pockets. And we hear and feel those mini explosions as pops and crackles. But is ingesting all that carbon dioxide bad for you? Well, after the sweet became popular in the 70s, a rumor emerged that a boy in America ate so much popping candy that as he washed it down with soda, his stomach exploded, causing his untimely death. The rumor became so rife that a leading seller of popping candy had to set up a hotline for anxious parents worried about their gas gobbling little ones, but they had no need to worry. Not only is the story utterly false, but a packet of popping candy actually only generates as much gas as half a can of fizzy drink. Which means, if, no when, I go and scoff the rest of the packets that we bought to make this video, all I'm at risk of doing is a harmless, but probably very enthusiastic burp. Now obviously I should say don't go and just eat popping candy, it's not particularly good for you. Uh, something else that people are concerned about is MSG. <laughs> Click on the MSG video here if you want to see uh, me kind of have a look at the facts of the fiction. It's a good segue, wasn't it?